it's the first half shouldn't be but that is I'm glad to see Steve back and he's glad to straighten me out miss that um, had you been here yesterday Steve you would have had the opportunity of a lifetime you see I got my horses mixed up I got mixed up between the Broncos and the Colts and um, afterwards I was put in my place and you know I have to line up all of the, the horses in the right way so anyway what it was making me think of is that we look for names and there's so many sports teams that have the names of various animals and the reason seems to be because the animals have various characteristics and traits whether it be speed whether it be strength whether it be courage whether it be things like that that people therefore name their sports teams with those particular names to give that concept to whatever it is that they have there is what is known as Perek Shira Perek Shira is a collection of many psukim from the book of Tehillim and many phrases that are said in the names of the animals and it says this animal what does it say this bird what does it say this insect what does it say and each one has a quote what it supposedly says in praise of Hashem what do the mountains say what does the earth say etc etc and there's one which is actually found in the book of Mishle not all of them are found in Tanakh many of them are uh, but this one specifically related to and uh, creation, and that is Shlomo Melech. King Solomon says, "Leichel nimala atzel, go to the nimala to the the ant atzel, lazy one, or edrachel vechakom. Look at its ways and become wise." In other words, the ant works all the time, and it has a very, very short life. And yet, what does it do? It spends all of its time gathering up food, even though it won't necessarily be for itself, because its lifetime is not that great. It brings it back to the nest, and it's put away there, stored for others. A tremendous concept that a 